guys out. Um, I finally got that natural sunlight coming in. Not like last night's dark ASMR, which a lot of people actually liked. Um, they liked the fact that it was dark outside and I had a little light in me, hit me. Somebody, somebody actually called it um, cozy. That they thought that the video from last night was cozy. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll try another uh, cozy uh, video like that at night. Who knows? Um, anyways, yo, let me tell you how annoying it was to get this effing sushi. Um, so I'm working all day, like always, working all day, and um, in between shifts because I'm working the late night shift tonight as well. Um, I had a little time for myself to go and get something to eat, so I decided to get some sushi. And this is like my standard. For, I've done like a sashimi video before, I think, and this is like my favorite sushi that I usually get. Um, and it's, uh, I believe, a super crunch salmon roll and uh, spicy tuna and uh, crab angels. So. If you watch my old sushi videos, this is basically what I always get. Anyways, it literally, as I say in the UK, not literally, literally, um, must put uh, takes me 10 minutes to, to drive down the street to this particular sushi place from my crib and back. But no, not today, because my dumbass thought it'd be a good idea to drive around rush hour traffic. Now, I know, I've, I've complained about this a million times, but I just, I need, I need to let it out. I need to let it out. Between four and six, there's like a crazy amount of traffic in my city, and it's just, I live in the downtown area, so it's just, I couldn't, I, I was on the phone with Dolce 40 the whole time, and it was like a little over an hour of, on the phone, just to get from this sushi place. And back and I I ordered it I called in it was just anyway anyways you like I, I feel like lately I've been bitching about whatever's going on in my life in the beginning as like an intro <laughs> and then I get into the eating um, I'm stressed <laughs> um, anyways so let me show you the plate the throw it down.
so I got home, threw some laundry in the washing machine, walked my dog real quick, and um, fed him, and now I'm feeding myself. Yo, real talk. It's, it's, it's about that time for a haircut. Yeah, it's, it's, it's about that time for a haircut. <laughs> I'm looking Sasquatchy right now. out there that have done a Q&A and then like if you do a Q&A you answer all those annoying like typical questions that people ask you, you know, you show your, you show your face, you know, you, you talk about what you do for a living, all the, all the bullshit that people have been asking you for, for years, you do a Q&A, a long Q&A, maybe even a two-parter, <laughs> and like a week later, why are you whispering? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying that out loud. Just, I just, you know, you know when sometimes you just got to say it out loud, you know. And you really want to answer them and be like, "Bitch, I got a Q and A. Go watch it. That'll answer your question." But of course, now that I've said this, now I'm gonna get a bunch of comments and say, "Oh, so why are you? How come only have your?"
like no excuse I get it tone it down bring it down but that's I mean that's legit. it the funny thing about this though is all it is um is whenever I lack something like oh I didn't go to the gym oh I ate this oh I did that whatever uh Abby aka Dolce Fruity um if I go oh I can't go to the gym because I gotta do uh, overtime or double whatever she's like oh well if you ain't going I ain't going <laughs> or if I mess up and I'm like oh like or if she if she messes up and says I had a piece of cake now I'm like what kind of cake am I gonna eat now <laughs> So it's just one of those things where if she fucks up, I get the fuck up. If I fuck up, she gets the fuck up. But but if she goes hard at the gym or she goes extra or she does, now I'm like, fuck. Now I got to go harder at the gym. It's not a competition. But it is. But it is. For real.
a lot of like alone time working and I've been revisiting a lot of old albums that I love listening to. Uh, one of my favorite genres of music is Neo Soul and uh, Conscience Rap, like Neo Soul and Hip Hop. Um, the Roots, Most Def, Common, uh, Talib Kweli, Ben High Tech. Erica Badu, Jill Scott, um, Common, did I say Common? Yeah, Common. Um, just that whole era between 1996 and 2006 of that conscience rap soul shit. Um, and, you know, I, of course my favorites are going to be D'Angelo and um, Common, most Def, but, and The Roots, The Roots by far. Well, other than the fact that they're the Tonight Show band for Jimmy Fallon, that which is amazing to me because me growing up in the 90s, I would have never thought this hardcore neo-hip-hop soul group would ever be the Tonight Show band. Anyways, but right, but lately I've been really listening to a lot of uh, Talib Kweli, uh, just as old shit. Sometimes you get to, you just get into these like music modes where you just want to shut out the rest of the world and just listen to some good old like old school, you know. And everybody has their music. Everybody has that one or two albums that they want to like revisit and just like get lost in it. And that's exactly what I've been doing. That's exactly what I've been doing. <laughs>